Hi and welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I talked about Dapper and how you can use it in your ASP.NET Core projects. And I introduced some features. One of them was multiple data sets. And today I want to talk about how you can use multiple data sets in Dapper. So I have a connection string here. And here I have my multiple query. Of course, uh, you can run each query separately, but uh, using Dapper, it is very easy to send all of them at one go and get the data back. So I have a couple of classes here. One is person, one is email, and the other one is phone. And I have this a person data to aggregate all the data together and send it, uh, send it back to the client and all we need to do is to uh, generate or create our query like this uh, id is a parameter and i am getting that from browser and replacing it inside this query using this um, uh, string interpolation and that's all you need to do uh, when you run query multiple over your database it connects to the connect uh, database connection and uh, you get uh, multi data sets and read it very nicely like this and uh, just like this one i can integrate them or aggregate them and uh, create the result object and send it back to the client this is all you need to do, create a connection, uh, create your query and use query multiple. Uh, I only use Dapper in this project and uh, there is no other injections or anything inside my startup CS file. Of course, you can inject Dapper uh, and use it uh, in a more um, solid way but uh, I use entity framework for most of my projects and sometimes for some queries uh, if I uh, need more performance or want to do something more specific like this uh, I use dapper so usually this is how I uh, get my complex queries now for the last thing let's run the project and see how it works this is what we have i can enter any id here and if there is a person available we get the data let's go for 60 and this is what we have i'm using adventure works database from microsoft this is a sample database that you can use to try things out with entity framework or dapper or any order uh, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I would put the link for the codes in description and see you soon.